Hey everyone, today let's talk about this uh, PS Audio Stella Gains uh, Digital Analog Converter Preamplifier with M700 mono blocks. The price and specification and detail information can be found on manufacturer website. Uh, today I'm just going to talk about sound quality, build quality, price and comparison and also uh, is it really worth that much money for what I get. Probably like over 250 hours of usage right now or almost 300 hours. So first thing let's talk about the connections. So connection is all balance connections from here or uh, from here to preamp preamp to mono blocks or oh, also try uh, RCA uh, connectors audio quest uh, King Cobra cables and Diamondback cables uh, between SACD player and this and preamp to power amplifier as well for the digital I try um, from SACD player to gain cell digital to analog converter using coaxial cable and also try USB uh, cable connecting USB input of gain cell, gain cell deck from my MacBook Pro computer. So when I start sit down and really pay attention, you know, listening my music, I first try was Audio Quest King Cobra cables and Diamondbacks cables. It sounded okay. It's highs are a bit roll off. Sound stage, uh, you know, a little uh, close in. Not enough. I felt like not enough um, separation or not enough, uh, not wide enough sound stage, I should say. So I didn't like the way that sound for using the uh, you know these combination with RCA connections so I remove all the RCA interconnects then I connect the uh, my all balance cables it sound totally opens up wider sound stage more pronounced uh, instruments and more um, meaningful soundscape that I can enjoy listening to my music. After the balance cables, it sounded much better than the uh, RCA connections. I can totally um, notice the difference between two different kind of uh, cables. RCA cables are no go with these combination. And then uh, after that, I try Coaxia cable from SACD player to the Gainsert digital to analog converter. It not much of a different. It's a little bit more refined, I should say, but hardly noticeable compared to balance cables. And then I try USB cable. Then uh, I notice because some a lot of people <laughs> comment that. I have to put a USB cable and I have to try USB DAC because it sounds the best. You know, the reality is if you do the USB connection with this one, it sounds louder. It's a bit louder but a less refined compared to balanced XLR cables. It sounds very good. I mean, compared to XLR connection, it's less refined and it's even a bit louder than the XLR connections. So if you use a USB cable connecting this preamp, it will give you a few dB louder sound and a bit more uh, noisier, I should say, because a lot of music that I'm used to, it's a bit noisier and less, a little bit of a graininess in uh, upper mid range to high frequencies, less refined. So I'm not really digging the sound quality of uh, no matter what connection but overall my audition go through with XLR connections and USB connection overall build quality is okay 
it's uh, it has uh, some minor uh, QC issues like these edges the base uh, you know side panel is sticking out on each end of it's like a one millimeter or something is sticking out a little cut this area is uneven on M700 monoblocks that's about it this DAC is okay nothing really major other than these are uh, you know plastic or rubber foods that put underneath here and then uh, this switch is very nice but uh, it feels uh, a bit cheap and plastic and then it make noise I hope you can hear it so that's the uh, I'm not sure if you are okay with it but uh, I'm not really okay with this kind of stuff this one do the same thing so it should be more solid instead of making noise so the build quality is okay I mean you know for the price it should be better because I mean the cabinet there's a little edges that are sticking out that are, I always have that are close-up shots in this video so this is uh, my normal listening position is at the uh, 25 I can hear the uh, hissing noise with this integrated amplifier there is no noise super quiet even like 10 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock position so this is a bit annoying for me let's go with the main thing the sound quality uh, let me turn it down that noise is a bit bothering me so overall sound is very decent for the price i think it's the weakest link in this chain is this pre-amplifier and digital analog converter because the sound is not not even as good as a uh, para sound uh, halo p5 that i used to have para sound halo p5 sounded much better than this more uh, engaging and a little bit more uh, musical sound signature so I don't really like this uh, digital loop analog converter and pre-amplifier. I don't really care about it. It's not a great buy. M700 itself is very good. I mean, you can totally pair them with the uh, very good quality pre-amplifiers. They will sound very good with, uh, you know, nice quality pre-amplifiers. Some people mentioned in the comment session, this one is, uh, uh, you know, Stereo 5 uh, Class A rated or something. I don't know. I don't read those magazines anymore. But uh, according to, based on the comments, I did my research and I saw the article. And turns out they were using like eight, $10,000, uh, I think it's a $8,000 pre-amplifier with this combination then i noticed right away oh that's why that sound they they like the sound because this one is just a power it needs really really good pre-amplifier to sound the best so it's your decision if you have a really good pre-amplifier you may try this one and probably you will be very happy with it but if you're gonna keep this same price range uh, amplifier uh, I mean pre-amplifier with M700 it's not going to give you best performance for your money because you got to have at least four five thousand dollar pre-amplifier to sound the best because I really think this one should uh, pair with the uh, uh, warm sounding musical uh, engaging uh, pre-amplifier to get the best sound out of them because power wise these can totally drive pretty much any speakers so these combinations m700 i will give like four and a half star but this one is probably like three stars for me but uh you know the my rating is based on this combination uh this pre and this power so i don't have better preamp to test out for superior sound quality to see how they will give me a sound that i'm hoping for 
And then uh, I put some notes here. Oh, you're right. So a few things that uh, really uh, got my attention is transition area from uh, lower base to upper base region. That area, uh, cleanliness, you know, separations, uh, space between the instruments and notes is uh, not great because bass is deep and well controlled but from that foundation going up that transition area refinement is not that great and also it can be said on same thing from upper mid range to high frequency transition area it's and not great it's grainy and a bit noisy and some people may blame oh because of the bowels and Wilkins are bright sounding because speakers depends on pairing components oh by the way a uh, low level uh, music listening at night time is really good it's very well reproduced really I like the uh, low level music listening than the uh, my reference level music listening and then I can totally crank these up for like club level and that that's the thing with the uh, this power and this combination because this 706 has to sound like a mid-range of floor standing towers that's how deep the bass get because I took it up to like 105 dB loudness in this room. It's like uh, in the nightclub. So that kind of love level. I mean, it's not the best sounding. It's, I felt like I'm in the club. So that kind of sound signature. So if you're going to play very loud level, if you're going to play that kind of bass heavy music, uh, I can totally recommend you to use this combination but if you listen to music the the very well recorded high quality music it may not suit you the best because overall noise floor instrument separation overall refinements especially you know upper mid range to high refinements are not great if I have to choose uh, my previous amp before this one is Luxman 505 UX2 and this one they they came around like same price I can totally live with Luxman over this combination regardless of the power because you don't need that much of power in normal music listening and um, Luxman bass is also deep as this but more refined but power difference is significant. So those are the things that uh, we have to understand. The wattage doesn't mean a lot of things. Wattage can tell only story that, you know, oh, this is the, uh, this much of power. But when it's really uh, driving the load, then uh, power supply comes into play. How much reserve power, how much uh, power supply can keep up with the demand so those are the most important thing in sound reproduction these are great if you're gonna play with the big speakers you want to play loud I mean I can totally recommend you for you know in the hall or club room or that kind of stuff or this combination because based on easy connectivity but you know for I'm specifically talking about this combination okay personally this is no go for me M700 if I have a really good pre amplifier I can live with M700 for sure because M700 performance is really good so overall sound quality and sound reproduction is good but it doesn't have the resolution refinement and uh, delicate sound signature that I'm looking for so this combination is no go for me and I will have you know this pain I still have to continue searching for my next amplifier so 
So I'm going to pack these up and I'm gonna send them back. So that is my review. Um, I hope uh, it helps you make the decision. So conclusion is if you have a really good pre-amplifier you can try M700s. It may give you very good sound quality if you have very good preamp. But if you're gonna pair with this combination, it's not great. You will not get the best performance out of M700 with this Stellar Gain so Digital Analog Converter Comforter preamp. So this preamp is no go for me. So this is the reason I'm not going to keep it because I don't have high and high quality preamp for. So there you go. That is my review. Thanks for watching and have